Yeah, so tomorrow, Angie is getting her surgery done to get tubes in her ears very, very early in the morning. I'm very <laughs> nervous about it. actually Mother's Day right now, the day before her ear surgery, and she's gonna go on her very first bike ride. Are you so excited? I'm excited. I remember doing this with Layla. Layla, you were so cute the first time you were on a bike. But now big girl Layla can already ride her own bike, and so she's gonna be riding with Dada. Safety okay. first, you've got your helmet. Do some fun things today to take our minds off it. It's a very routine, simple surgery, but when it's your own kid, it's so nerve wracking. It's not routine anymore. So I'm glad we're just gonna have a nice day today and you know, do some bike riding. Let daddy get the hang of it with her on there. Take some getting used to. Hi, ah, she's just kind of staring. She doesn't seem to mind it. I think she's liking it. She loves the stroller. She's just taking it in. Oh, there is a smile. All right, how was it? We couldn't get this to fit on my bike, so I had to go on Brian's, but his bike is so much bigger. Let's see if we can lower the bike seat. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous to get on your big bike. So our surgery is at eight tomorrow morning. We have to be at the surgery center at seven. The worst part, I think, of all of this is she can't eat from midnight on, not even water. And she usually wakes up at 5.30 and expects a bottle. It's gonna be rough until we get her under our anesthesia at eight and then she won't be able to eat until like nine in the morning. It's gonna be nine hours with no food. I know she can do it. That's what I'm most worried about. So I think tonight around 11.30, I'm gonna sneak in and try to give her a bottle. But she's kind of an oinker. So this could be a little rough, but I seriously, I think that's gonna be the worst part. And not even the recovery. I think it's just gonna be her being hungry and throwing a fit. But we'll try to do okay, right girly? We're gonna have an early morning though tomorrow. Good morning, it's surgery day. It's about 5.45 in the morning and fortunately, Angie is still sleeping. Normally she would be up by now, but I'm very thankful because we leave for the hospital at 6.30. So I want her to sleep as long as possible so we don't have to try to fight her and she won't be upset about not having any food or a bottle. I did sneak into her room last night around 11.30 p.m. and gave her six ounce bottles. So hopefully that will keep her full and she'll be okay and get up to surgery without getting too hungry. But I just want to make sure I have everything packed. Layla has school today, so I got her lunch all packed and just hoping Angie keeps sleeping a little bit longer. Hopefully she went back to sleep. I thought I heard something. So we're just playing on the bed in her nursery. She loves to play in here. Hopefully that'll keep her happy. If you notice, she has a little busted lip. Yesterday afternoon, she was crawling outside and lost her hand or like just tri like tripped with her hands and fell right on her face. So now it's about, let's see what time it is. Oh, you want the camera? Let's see, what time is it? What time is it? It's 5.55. So we have about 35 more minutes till we can go. And that'll be a good distraction too, being in the car. Right, girly? As you can see, Grandma's here to help with Layla. She was gonna take Layla to school today, but Layla woke up and has completely lost her voice and is coughing. So this is just a crazy morning. Grandma's going to watch Miss Layla Jane while we take Angie. 6.15, so we're gonna start loading her up in the car in like 10 minutes. She's doing well. I think it helped feeding her a little bit uh, right before midnight. <laughs> Your poor little voice. I know I can't get around Angie because she starts getting all fussy when I'm near her. I will get socks. Grandma always thinks Angie needs socks. Get some socks for Miss Angie. Miss Layla, you'll be home today, so we'll see you in a little bit. We won't be gone for too long. It's very fast, only about 10, 15 minutes is the actual operation. Now that we're here, I'm getting a little nervous. I feel like this morning I was just so worried about just keeping her happy, but now it's like sinking in that she's gonna go under anesthesia. I'm a little nervous now. 
makes me sad. And I don't know how she's going to react the rest of the day. Like, what if there's, she's going to be out of it? Or I just I have no idea what to expect. And she's got her bunny. They said we could bring something of comfort. So she's got her little stuffed bunny that she loves. We're going to have a good breakfast when we're done with this, huh? Hoping I wouldn't have to bust out my phone and play Miss Rachel, but she was getting a little antsy that we're almost getting ready. We're just waiting for the anesthesiologist to come talk to us. All right, I'm back out in the lobby area because the anesthesiologist came and took her away. I was just telling Brian, he's getting some work done. Um, I just kept looking back at her to try to see her and I ran into a wall because <laughs> I was staring at her trying to look at her. But it should only take about 10 minutes. We'll just kind of wait and see how she does. Um, coming out of the anesthesia, they said either she's gonna be fine, a little groggy, or sometimes babies are irritable. So we don't know, she's never been under before, but she just take about 10 to 15 minutes. So now we just wait. <sighs> all right, we're all done. She was very irritable. We discovered she's irritable when she wakes up, but they didn't give her any sedative or anything to calm her. So she finally gets to eat. We got a happy baby. All done it seriously. A whole thing was like less than 20 minutes. You did so good. You Hello. did so good. Now we'll just kind of wait and see how she acts the rest of the day. We made it through the hard part. We're home. She's eating a hash brown. But we're taking it very slowly because we don't want to grow it sick. So just a little bit of one, right girl? And I guess Layla and Grandma went to Target, so they're not home. So we're gonna try to wait. I just, I don't know what to think of her naps now. I don't know when you're gonna go down for a nap. We'll just kind of play it by here, right? We want to see Sissy. So hopefully she'll be back soon. Yeah. You enjoyed that hash brown. I'm sure Grandma oh. bought Layla some stuff. What is this? Is this a new umbrella? And a Ryan toy? You picked out something Sweet for Angie? Oh, that's so cute. Aw, Angie, sissy got you that. Oh, how to be a big sis. She oh, that out. But you're already such a good I big know, sister. I know, I can't believe her back you so early. Got a book, we'll have to read your book later. Checking out sissy's new Ryan toys. A good big sister, getting her something, and she made her a little card the other day. So Angie has been napping now for over two hours. I think she's exhausted, and Layla is at my mom's house. I'm kind of dreading, though, for when Angie does wake up because we need to do her eardrops. She has to do eardrops two times a day and about two to three drops in each ear. So oh, I just, I know she's gonna hate this. So, but we gotta do it. So as soon as she wakes up, we're gonna do it. So I'm just bracing myself right now for it. You had such a good nap. All right, girly, daddy's down now. I got backup. We're just gonna make it fun. Angie seems to be totally normal and doing awesome. Like and that. Miss Layla Jane is back. And you got a new book, The that Couch Potato. Too. That's not a small potato. Have you guys ever seen these books? There's so many of them. Here, let me show them what this book is. So this one is The Couch Potato. There's like the Smart Cookie, the Bad Egg, and then there's the Sour app, the Sour Grape which we don't have yet. That's one we're missing, but these books are adorable. I'm just amazed, like you would not know she had surgery this morning. So if any of you guys out there are thinking that your kids might need tubes in their ears, don't be scared like I was, because I think this is gonna be so much better in the long Guess run. Should we say bye to everyone and thanks for watching and supporting us? But we're so glad all this went well and we're just having a good day now. So thanks for watching and all the support. Love you all, bye-bye.